Alright guys, this is it, the last Force Friday video. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with kind of a bittersweet moment. It's the last Force Friday video that I'll be doing. I will be doing more Star Wars toys videos, so I need you guys to tell me which ones you want to see. But for today, this is the end of my Star Wars Force Friday haul. It's the last set and I'm done with the Micro Machines for right now. There are more to open. But I'm moving on to Hot Wheels, and this was actually a really cool set. I went, and I didn't plan on buying more than but one, one Micro Machines set, and I ended up walking out with a bunch more other stuff, and this Hot Wheels set was one of them too, because I couldn't say no to this. This is a really cool looking set. It is a TIE Fighter Blast Out Battle by Hot Wheels, and you get this little TIE Fighter thing you put on your finger. Now hopefully my chubby hot dog fingers will work, and I can actually fit them in there but you shoot at little targets and you interact with the area and you do cool stuff. It's got a little firing starship, it fires and you hit the targets and it does stuff. So let's get into it. Let's see exactly how this works, what it takes to set it up. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun here. Let's do this. Now I noticed there's some perforations on the back. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it on the perforations or if that's part of the playset. I don't know. I'll find out here in just a second, I guess. But I'm gonna cut the tape just in case. There's almost always, oh, it's not taped. Interesting, it's glued. All these other ones were taped. So I will have to use the perforations, which that's fine, I can, I can dig it. But I'm gonna cut them just to make it clean and nice. Oh, there we go, it's a little bit better. Now that that's done, I can probably run my finger along it. There it is. Careful not to get paper cuts, but it will open very nicely. Let's see if I can do this. I better how to turn on the camera. There it is. Cool, so there are stickers. There is some assembly required, as they used to say when I was a child. Oh, wow, this, is, this has got some neat stuff in here. So, okay, there's piece number one. This is the little finger thing. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. I might have to use just my pinky. I don't know how that works or what I'm supposed to do here, but yeah. Little kid's fingers for sure, not, not this guy. <laughs> Either way, let's get on with the show. How do I get this out? Okay, cool. So is that it? Is that all of it? No. There's another piece. There's one more piece. Okay, I think that's all of it. There is some interesting looking stuff here. Let's get out my, my little unlit lightsaber. Okay, now how do I get this out without completely massacring the box? Because I like the boxes. I like to eat the boxes. Am I a weirdo? Do you like keeping the boxes for some of your toys? I always keep the boxes and I try to keep them intact when I open them so that I can store them or when I move, if I move, it makes life way easier. When you're moving, if your boxes will hold all your toys, that's a pretty good sized TIE Fighter. Now, this is the thing about this set, is I bought it because I thought it was kind of spoilers. So it comes with four TIE Fighter targets one cannon turret that sits on the edge of this thing, and this is kind of where they're gonna sit up. I'm gonna put my targets up here, one, two, three, and four, and there's this little turret that I'm supposed to knock out, and there's, oh, there you go, I knocked it out, or knocked something out. I don't know what that was or where that goes, but we'll find out here in just a second. And it's got this little force field door thing that attaches to it somehow, and I'll, I'll be assembling it here. You guys can kind of see it in my little GoPro camera, where things, how it's being assembled. There we go, kind of like that, cool. And it's, kind of, it's just neat. It's a neat looking set and I, I saw it and I was like, you know what? That looks like spoilers. That looks like it's a scene from the movie that maybe there's gonna be some kind of escape from this TIE Fighter. It doesn't tell me exactly whose TIE Fighter it is, but the one thing I noticed when I was opening these micro machines is that there is a regular TIE Fighter with no red markings. You notice this one has the red markings on it. I don't know which way's up. I guess that's the way that's up. So we've got TIE Fighter with no markings, right? No markings, I'm showing it to the smaller camera. And then I've got a bigger TIE Fighter, my new one with red markings. Now my broken TIE Fighter also shares those same red markings. So what exactly does that mean? What does that mean? That means this TIE Fighter is gonna end up looking like this at some point during the movie. So kind of spoiler alert, I don't know what that means or why, but I do notice that this set it's kind of interesting because you are escaping. It says, shoot the targets to escape. It is a TIE Fighter blast out battle, which means 
This TIE Fighter needs to get out of wherever it's at. It needs to shoot the gun, and then it needs to break out through the force field. So, I don't know, something, something happens, and I think the good guys end up flying this TIE Fighter to escape. Just a thought, just a thought. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm on the right track, if you think that's what's, what's gonna happen in the movie, let me know, I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Because, I mean, this is the kind of stuff, this is what interests me. This is why I get excited about Force Friday. All right, guys, you ready to see how this works? So let's see here. I've got my missile set up. All I have to do is push down on this. Let's see if I can hit number one. Ooh, that is powerful. Yes, number one got knocked out. That was a good shot. All right, let's see if we can take out number two. Yeah, let's see, can I take out number two? Can I take out number two? Can I do it? Yeah, number two. Sweet. Okay. Here is number three. Can I do number three? Let's see if I can get a little further away here. Now, it does have to be a pretty strong hit in order for it to uh, knock these things out. Got it. So he, he kind of fell over and blew up. That's what's supposed to happen. Let's try for one more shot, see if I can make my escape. This is going to be hard because I don't want to block the view, but... Got it, let's escape out of here. And he goes around the corner and then he ends up looking like this. Oh, poor guy. He ended up getting blown up. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Guys, this is awesome. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching all of my Force Day, Force Friday, Crazy Madness toy unboxings. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Star Wars stuff, for more Disney artwork, for more Disneyland theme park videos, all kinds of cool stuff. Star Wars is Disney, so it totally counts, right? Right? Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like watching this. If you want to see more toy unboxings, let me know down below. Again, tell me which Micro Machine set you want me to open next of the old ones, or if you want to see me get a new one. Let me know. I might get some of the newer ones, and we'll do unboxings of those. Did you guys like this cool Hot Wheels set? Oops, I know I did, it's pretty cool. I know my kids are gonna love shooting it. And I like how powerful it is when it shoots, it's really neat. So guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna go play with these toys a little bit more for it. Hit the hay and get these videos uploaded so you all can enjoy them. But I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you all. See you later, goodbye.